housing. I am renting my sister's condo, relocated from the Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. We have a budget, but I can't, we can't find anything, and you know, and when we do find, and you put in a bid, I'm outbidded by 10, because they go 100,000 over. Because I'm looking in Silver Spring, but not Central Silver Spring, because it's not affordable. Yeah. Just not affordable, man. Tough. What do you think we should do about it? Um, there has to be some kind of affordable housing put in place for people who've retired, who can't go beyond a certain limit. I don't know what you can do to, to, to deal with this bidding war that's going on. Well, I guess it has to do with there's less um, supply on the market, and I guess that's what's causing it. But something's got to be done where people who have a limited budget can get something. I mean, I don't want anything big or anything, but you're not finding anything. You can't find anything. You gotta move out mm -hmm. to find. And I don't want to leave Silver Spring. Right. But yeah. you know, I don't want to leave Silver Spring. We're at the Silver Spring Aquatic Center in the Senior Lounge, but you live in the Leggett. Yes. Okay. My daughter has a store close by. Okay. And um, uh, this was the most convenient spot for to be with family. Um, okay. She chose it for me, and mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a wonderful choice. Do you do you find that it's affordable for you? Oh, Lord, yes. What do you most like about living here in Silver Spring? Well, my daughter is probably prime, but um, nevertheless, um, the Leggett and this together make a, a wonderful, wonderful place to be. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of things that I can do here. I was riding the bicycle this morning until I got tired, so I decided to walk up here and uh, wait for coffee to show up. Good morning, Gigi. Again. I say that uh, this is a wonderful place and I really appreciate what uh, Montgomery County has done for us here. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you live in uh, an HFC building. How do you, how is the management? How do you... Well, I, we have good management because I, I, we can go Come down and talk to the manager and tell right. them. And do they have other do services have for you? Do they do transportation? Yes, because mm -hmm. it's the, the the bus come come for me and mm -hmm. carry me to the center. Okay. And uh, carry me back home at about one two o'clock. Okay. And, and do you find the rent is affordable for you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, um, now it is affordable for me because I am I am just you know but everything is only only thing I want now is something somebody to help me. I lived in Montgomery County since let me see, November of 1999. Okay. I moved from Massachusetts, okay. from Boston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am retired, so this is my chance to get out of the house. With my experience, I think that affordable housing, the rents are still too high, and uh, there is not affordable enough housing for seniors. That's what I just says. It's called the Sanctuary. It's on 426 University Boulevard mm -hmm. East. It's a new building okay. and the church, Mount Central Baptist Church, oh. are the owners of it. And yeah. we've been, since I've moved there, I've been trying to get right on bus to come in mm -hmm. to take the seniors. We okay. haven't given up. Yeah, right. We need transportation to get the seniors out because they won't come out. Right. Well, they how do you get here? Out. How do I get here? Mm -hmm. The bus van from the Jewish Council of the Aging okay. picks us up in our house. And how did you know about that building? Like where did you just find my out? Dear that? sir, I'll give you my testimony. 
the Lord gave me that golden. I'm serious. And one day I got the postcard in the mail with this little picture of the golden on it. And the resident manager gave me a time and I came and I looked at it. And um, she says to me, well, Miss Williams, have you decided what floor you want to live on? Just like that. And I said, well, honey, whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, that's what I'm going to do. And she says, she took me to buy a unit, one, two, three. And she said, like it? I said, yes. And my dear soul, she says, it's yours. <laughs> just like that. And I just love it. It's such a beautiful building. We need more of that. And what I love about it is that you have people from all around the world living there. It's not just one um, race of people. Everyone lives there. We have Hispanic. We have people from Africa from the Caribbean, I'm from the Caribbean, and <laughs> Caucasian, and they have every, everyone lives here. Great. What do you like about living in Montgomery County? The services. Okay. It's the best county to live in. Don't tell anyone <laughs> that Montgomery, Montgomery County loves their seniors. That is one thing I am positive of. They love the seniors. The seniors are well taken care of. Keep on offering, keep on fighting for services for the for the seniors. We need more help. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs>dwellings that is impossible in my neighborhood because the houses on either side of me were torn down and I have these massive things that take up the whole yard I can't see anything and uh, they won't build any any accessory dwellings and, and if instead of building those big McMansions they added on like a, a, a large accessory dwelling unit, how would you have felt about I that? I would have felt fine because mm -hmm. I've seen it done and it works. And yes, I'd have felt fine. I think that's that's a valid objective for the mm -hmm. county to, 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 to provide some housing for moderate moderate income people. But that's not where the growth is, is taking place. Only a little bit is being provided because of government action, mm -hmm. but the, but the private market is is producing luxury. The, mm -hmm. this, this, the, the, what's 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 happening is we're getting the Mac mansions built. We're getting high rise apartments built, which are not mod for, available for moderate incomes. It's a little outside the box, but that's me. Um, I would like to see affordable apartments that that but but also conceived in a much more creative uh, way in terms of intergenerational development or in terms of social supports because one of the most critical aspects of growing older if you're on your own is that social isolation which is terrible and so I mean, if I was in charge, oh, I'd love it. Um, I would. It sounds like I would love it also. <laughs> I would take an apartment, and there would only be ten, you know, like four floors, and they would all have their own bedrooms, bathrooms, living rooms, and a small kitchen. And then there would be a communal kitchen in the middle with a living room, where maybe. Six of the apartment dwellers would then be able to come and have dinner or breakfast together. It would be much more um, doable. It, it certainly is going to be less money than the um, continuing care, which could really sock away all your money and leave your kids nothing. And that's, for me, one of the biggest concerns is that how do I live the last chapter without spending all the money that I've worked hard to save for my and, children. And, and so a common area with rooms, or they could have apartments mm -hmm. off to the side. That sounds, that sounds attractive to me. Um, yes, I would consider it, but not seriously, because mm -hmm. there aren't any... <laughs> well, <laughs> if, if there was something that was built in a community that you could, you could walk to the CVS, that the health care clinic or whatever it was that you were going to was nearby, or that the the development had transportation and could take you in a van to 
do grocery shopping and to the doctor's appointments and things like that. Would that be an attractive model? And and let, you know, maybe it's not $2,000 a month, but it's it's less than $4,000 a month. <laughs> oh, sure. I would definitely consider that. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel if we build it, they will come. Um, we can't afford to move anywhere else. We need to stay in our house. And so I'm awfully glad the village is there. So when we need it, we will be able to stay as long as possible. Without that option, I don't know where we could go. One, zero to 10, Betsy, where are we at? It's a tough question. Uh, I mean, I think if, well, I can't speak for other people, but if any of us, or if I needed round the clock nursing care, even though I consider myself comfortable, it's not affordable. Um, if I needed to make major modifications in this house so I could stay here, I'm not sure it's affordable. Um, if I needed to move somewhere else, I don't think an apartment that would be in an area that I wanted would be affordable. So I think it's pretty low. Four? Okay.